Men celebrate some moments in their life. We have to take a decision that we will celebrate every moment in our life. So, life becomes something really enjoyable. Life and after. Welcome once again to News Analysis. News Analysis, a weekly magazine on current affairs. To begin with, the main points in a nutshell. Marikana murder charges South Africa Minister wants explanation. Roman Abramovich wins cold battle against Berezovsky. Firefighters battle huge blaze near Marla in southern Spain. Large earthquake strikes off Philippines. Gujarat writes BJP's Maya Kornani jailed for 28 years. Three dead in New Jersey supermarket shooting. And now the news in detail. Marikana murder charges South Africa Minister wants explanation. South Africa's Justice Minister has demanded an explanation after 270 minors were charged with murder of their colleagues who were shot at by police. The decision had induced a sense of shock, panic and confusion among South Africans, Jeffrey Redebe said. State prosecutors charged the minors under the apartheid-era common purpose doctrine. The decision has already been condemned by constitutional lawyers. A group of lawyers representing the 270 minors wrote to President Jacob Zuma demanding the release of their clients by 13 hours on last Sunday. Otherwise, the lawyers warned they would apply to the High Court to order the minors' release. In a separate development, the country's independent police watchdog has refused to comment on reports citing leaked details of post-mortem examination suggesting minors were shot in the back. In a statement, Mr. Radebe said that under the con Constitution, the Justice Minister must exercise final responsibility over the prosecuting authority. He has said he had therefore asked the head of the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, to furnish me with a report explaining the rationale behind such decision. Police shot 34 miners two weeks ago during a strike at the Marikana mine owned by Lomin, the world's third largest platinum producer, sparking a national outcry. Police said they opened fire after being threatened by a crowd of protesters who advanced towards them armed with machetes. The 270 minors, six of whom remain in hospital, were arrested during the protests. They were charged on Thursday with the prosecutors arguing they were part of the crowd whose actions provoked the police into opening fire. Former African National Congress ANC youth leader Julius Melema condemned the decision as madness. Accused our comrades or they've murdered their own comrades and therefore they can't give them bail. Mara police who actually killed those people, none of them is inside. Roman Abramovich wins cold battle against Berezovsky. Chelsea FC owner Roman Abramovich has won his legal battle against exiled Russian oligarch Boris Berezovsky. Mr. Berezovsky said he was shocked at Mrs. Justice Luster's decision and that she had rewritten Russian history. The BBC estimates the total legal costs in the case are up to pounds 100 million. In her ruling, the judge said, On my analysis of the entirety of the evidence, I found Mr. Berezovsky an unimpressive and inherently unreliable witness who regarded truth as a transitory flexible concept which could be molded to suit his current purposes. She said she dismissed Mr. Berezovsky's claims in relation to Sibneft and a claim Mr. Abramovich had broken a promise over a deal involving Russian aluminum company Rusa in their entirety. 
She also said she found Mr. Abramo is to be truthful and on the whole reliable witness. Political godfather Mr. Berzowski, who had told reporters before the verdict that I believe in the system, afterwards said, I'm absolutely amazed by what's happened today, particularly because Lady Gloucester took the responsibility to rewrite Russian history. Asked if she felt Russia's President Vladimir Putin would be happy with the ruling, she replied, sometimes I have the impression that Putin himself wrote this judgment. He said he did not regret bringing the case against Mr. Abramovich and did not know if he would appeal, adding, I was absolutely shocked, but life is life. The BBC's Moscow correspondent Daniel Stanford said there had been a lot of interest in the case in Russia and it shed light on the controversial sale of Russia's mineral wealth by the state to a small group of oligarchs in the early 1990s. Mr. Abramovich was not in court for the ruling and is thought to be in Monte Carlo of Chelsea Super Cup final on Friday night. But a statement issued on his behalf said there were many serious allegations made against Mr. Abramovich, Mr. Berzowski, including attacks on Mr. Abramovich's honesty and integrity. Firefighters battled huge blaze near Marbella in southern Spain. Spanish firefighters are battling a huge wildfire raging near the wealthy resort of Marbla on the country's Costa del Sol. At least one person has died and thousands more have been evacuated. The body of an elderly man was found near Arjun. Rescue workers are searching for his wife. Evacuations were ordered from near Marbla, Arjun, and campsite at Alpujata, with some 300 British expats among the evacuees. The British consulate Malaga said they all have left the evacuation center and were staying with friends or had returned to their homes. Marbla is famous for its upmarket hotels and villas and its favorite haunt of wealthy foreigners. Horrific hundreds of firefighters backed up by emergency military personnel and 31 planes and helicopters continue to battle a huge blaze that's being fanned by hot, dry winds. According to the AFP news agency, the 12 kilometers line of fire has spread across the high treetops in Sierra Negra mountains. In addition to the dead man who was found near his home, Five people have been treated for injuries, some of them serious. Angel Nazel, mayor of Mijas, a town between Marbla and Malaga, told EI Pace newspaper, the fire is horrific with flames 10 to 15 meters high. The Costa del Sol is one of Spain's most popular holiday destinations and home to a large British expatriate community. The British Embassy said it was working closely with the Spanish authorities and consular staff were deployed to assess those affected. Large earthquake strikes off Philippines. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake has struck off the eastern Philippine island of Samar causing tsunami evacuations and power cuts. The regional tsunami warnings have now been lifted. The earthquake struck the depth of 33 kilometers. At 2047 local time, 1247 GMT, the U.S. Geological Survey said the quake was said to be long and violent with some roads and bridges reported to be damaged. One woman was reported to have been killed and a young child injured when a house collapsed in Cagayan de Oro City on the main southern island of Mindano official said. Shaking violently, tsunami warnings were initially issued for Indonesia, the Philippines, Palau, Taiwan, Japan, Papua, New Guinea, Guam, and Northern Mariana Islands, and Yap, but they have all been lifted. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said a tsunami had been generated, but the waves witnessed were small. Some parts of the southern and eastern Philippines were hit by a wave of 16 centimeters. 
The epicenter of the quake was 146 kilometers from the town of Guan on the southern tip of Samar. Maravik Singo, country finance manager of the aid organization Plan International, experienced a quake in the Philippine city of Tacloban on the northern tip of Leyte Island. She said she was in a restaurant and took shelter under the table when the quake struck. It lasted for about half a minute. It felt so long, it was very strong and getting stronger. Tables were shaking violently. Other customers started to run for the door, but we stayed where we were until it stopped.